Shoot, I tried to mute that. Afton was briefly in the vent there. I don't know if you saw him. Oh no! Oh, I missed it! Oh, we were at 3 a.m. though. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game. Well, Freddy, he's gone. Uh -oh. How no! Shoot. That is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. She's, see, she's, she's the thing. Great, fantastic. You're the best. Oh, wait. No, still not yet. That's, that's entered. Entered's gone. Ah! Shoot! All I caught was should not have killed. Something for the one you should not have killed? Something for the one you should not have killed. Hmm. That's weird. It, it's all, it all depends on your start, man. If you get a good start, get out of here. Freddles, get out of here. These guys are gonna kill me, yeah. Even monkeys fall from trees. <laughs> <laughs> Words of wisdom, pig patch. He, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 clearly, FNAF is solved. <laughs> we solved FNAF, right? There it is. That's it. That was the clue. Maybe William Afton is the monkey who has fallen from the tree. It all makes sense now. <laughs> it all connects. Now I want to set my lore. Need to set. Ah, need to set my lure. Reese, nah, there it is. Dude, I knew it. You and I don't get to talk as often as I'd like. Oh, that was nice. So much quality character oh. action happening oh. on screen right now. Oh. <laughs> 3 a.m. 3 a.m. <laughs> no! No! Oh, big bad. I consider it a dignified death. <laughs> Not really. It was actually quite pathetic. <laughs> Thanks, Pig Patch. You're the best, buddy. You're the best. Nope, 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 nope. Get out of there. Open duct over here. No! Oh, the Freddles. That's a new one. I am remade, but not by you. By the one you should not have killed. I am remade. But not by you. By the one you should. Let's speak in riddles, shall we? So that seems to imply that you are playing as William in this game, William Afton. Because the fact that, like, hey, I was remade, but not by you, that would seem to imply that he is, whoever you're playing as, is someone who has remade or made a bunch of these things, which seems like that's William. That, that's his whole shtick, right? He's the animatronic guy. By the one you should not have killed. Who is... I mean, William's killed everyone in the franchise. <laughs> Presumably. Uh, come on. Come on. <laughs> no! Oh, it was the vents! I was gonna leave a mark. <laughs> we had 30 seconds and it was the vents of all things. It was the vents. Red old get out of here. These guys are still hanging. Ah! No! No! I thought I put on a mask. That's weird. That's a fun one. Uh, nightmare or a uh, withered Bonnie. Might as well face the facts you were always destined to fail. There you go. Well, thank you for that resounding uh, bout of confidence. Nope, Afton. No, what is going on? There's like 15 animatronics all in. I love you all so much. Great, thanks, thanks, thanks everybody. Did I survive that? Did I literally survive that insanity? I can't. <laughs> I didn't even hear you! Damn it! Ennard, you, you poop head! Oh, you are just a mangle of turds. Great. Here we go. Look. Look at how calm everything is in this game. What a perfectly normal, calm game this is. 
Oh, Frittles. Get out of here, Frittles. There we go. Catch. Middle. Great. Oh, she moved. She moved. F. No, F. No, no. Always come back. Oh, I was distracted by Scrap Baby moving. That was a good run, too. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. We've got this. You got this? Do you feel what I feel? Please. No! Oh, we have 15 seconds left! Oh, we were so close! We almost had it, we were so close. I'm sorry, friends. This, this one is not happening. This one is just... Yeah. Damn it. The nail that sticks out gets hammered down. Best, the best death quotes. Uh, try playing dead. No! Shoot, Ned Bear! Stranger danger. <laughs> Ned Bear, you are so useless! You are the Bowser Jr. of FNAF games. Useless. That's insulting to Bowser Jr. <laughs> it is actually. Bowser Jr. is a much more useful character. Four. Four. Middle. Gone. Shoot. Shoot. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. I, I can't. I can't. No! No! I was no! I was trying so hard. I was there. I felt so good about it. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory. Yeah. Don't you hate getting killed by obscure secondary characters? Ned Bear. You're worse than the fan. <laughs> <laughs> the bane of my existence, Ned Bear. N Even his name sucks. Ned Bear! If your name out there happens to be Ned Bear, I apologize sincerely. You have a very lovely name, but. Not. If, but if you're in a video game, hey. Oh, I need an emotional taiko. Uh -oh. No! One God, alright. Well, well uh -oh. there, there's that run. You don't have to. After, yeah, that's all right. I was distracted. I always come back. All right, well, I've come across a lot of interesting details about this game uh, that enable you to actually get higher scores faster and a little bit easier. It's still no walk in the park. It is still incredibly difficult as a game, but I wanted to come on the live stream today to one, test out some of these things in person because I haven't had a chance to test them out myself, uh, and two, let you guys know because right now a lot of these secrets are hidden in kind of like deep corners of the web, are buried in three, four hour live streams by some of these guys. Uh, and so I wanted to hop in and test, put to the test some of the strategies that people are talking about when it comes to this game. And maybe, maybe see one or two more cutscenes. You know, anytime you're in a game situation like this, think about small scale testing. Go back to the problem, the, the problems that you're having and start like testing out the individual animatronics and figure out where, where their edges are, like what works versus what doesn't on them. And so one of the things that I went back to prior to this stream, and this isn't something that I've necessarily seen the other like uh, Daco and DJ Sturf do, but I'm assuming they're doing it. Um, Cause these were the guys that were causing me problems last live stream, right? They, I was always dying to one of these five characters. Uh, and so prior to the live stream, I wanted to test this out and I wanted to show you what I learned about these guys. One of the things that you'll see all of their descriptions say is they're either attracted to the audio lore, which you'll see here with a pig patch and happy frog. But then you see these guys still roaming around. But one thing that they all say is if you put on the heater, it pushes them back, right? So they're getting down, they're getting down, they're getting down. As soon as I turn on the heater, they, they all pop back. 
right? They're all being reset in their pattern. And as long as the heater's on, the most they can get down is this middle bar. The heater is the most effective way of making sure that no one's getting anywhere close down here. I don't even have to worry about this anymore because nine times out of 10, it's immediately pushing everyone back, right? No one's getting close down here. I also learned that you can honk the nose finally. I was looking for this. So I'm just pleased that I can honk, honk the nose. Sadly, you can't honk Ennard's nose back there. This was a crazy one. So I've been watching DJ Sturf and Daco do this, and at first I'm like, they've gotta be faking their Let's Plays. They have gotta be lying or hacking the game or something because I'm seeing and hearing characters who would normally attack you through the doors or the vents or whatever, and they're not being blocked in any way. So now we're on the vents, and we can see them moving up, right? You see them kind of making their way toward me. But for now, I'm gonna actually hang out here. Oh, let me reset this real quick. So, so watch what happens. This was a huge revelation. Okay. I haven't shut any vents yet. Right? And I'm just hanging out. They can't kill me until I flip up the camera. Watch. So I'm going to flip up the camera because I'm going to need to reset my ventilation. And I got Right? So, as, so this is one of the other. Just like, I'm watching everyone online play this game, and my mind is blown because it's one of, I'm like, why is no one actually checking the camera? Like, I see Springtrap literally sitting in the vent for like a good 30 seconds to a minute, and he's on 20 mode. Why is he not killing, you know, these these players of the game? And that's the secret here. And this is this is a huge thing that almost invalidates 50% of the animatronics in this game is they can't kill you unless you flip up your camera. So that applies, I think, to the vast majority of them who are attacking from the left, from the right, from the center. Again, if you want an easy way to to manage everything that's going on, so there's Molten Freddy. Let's see if we can wait for Ennard. But now we should be seeing... So there's Ennard. We just sent Molten Freddy back. And presumably we should see Springtrap here in a second. Oh, there he is. Look at that, buddy. Can I boop your nose? Can I boop your nose? Can I boop your... I can't boop your nose. Boop, boop, boop. I'm going to pretend to anyway. Boop, boop, boop. Pretend this is your nose, Springtrap. There we go. But again, you'll notice... He's not killing me. He's just hanging out. And when I saw other people playing online, I'm like, this has got to be a hack. So they're all blocked now. But then they're all gone, right? So again, it's one of those secrets where, one, it helps you save a huge amount of power. And two, it actually protects you from all different angles. All I need to do is shut all the doors, flip up, and I'm protected. Like, nothing can, nothing can kill me because I'm releasing stuff. There are animatronics that can break this. Right? But this was one of the things that blew my mind watching everyone else's playthroughs and is one of the essential tactics to actually beating this. So again, just crazy tactics that you wouldn't really know until you like test it out or try it in, in the game itself. And this is something that I've been doing a lot, as you can tell, I've been doing a lot of research on. Uh, these are some of the hidden mechanics. Uh, and then there's, there's one last one. And this was something I was really interested in watching um because so the interesting thing about these three guys right it's buy their plushie in the prize corner so that way they can't attack you buy her plushie in the prize corner so in total it requires you to buy a lot of plushies and you do that by collecting faz tokens so here normally if you are playing this the way it's meant to be played right you're like oh no where are the faz tokens there's one there's one there's None. Shoot, where are the FAS tokens? I need them so badly. Ba, 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 ba. There, there's one. So you would have to collect, I mean, what is it, 20, 40, 60 at least, and then plus five every time, you know, uh, Rockstar Freddy here is like, please insert five tokens. And watching the live streams and thinking about this game, I'm like, there's no way you can do that. There's no way that you can, amongst everything else, all the chaos that's happening in this game, there's no way that you can actually explore the cameras enough to collect all of the tokens you need to prevent these guys from killing you, right? What they found is as long as your camera's on camera two, they can't kill you. Like, you don't have to buy their plushie 
They just, they just don't kill you. They'll always stay here blockaded and there's nothing that they can do. So we're gonna put that to the test right now where I'm not gonna buy any plushies. I'm not gonna do anything. We're just gonna see whether it works. Again, I have not done this for myself. I've seen talk online that this is the way it works, but I really wanna test it, right? So here we go. He's, he's still chillaxing. He's like, why haven't you bought my plushie yet? Oh, well that killed me. Hmm, that's interesting. I thought for sure that that was okay. See, he was really mad that I didn't buy his plushie, right? He's like, I've made this merch for a reason. I work hard on my merch. And then maybe you have to block the door every time you open up the camera. I do know that this is the way that people have been avoiding the, the plushies killing you though. Everyone's been like, oh, the plushies won't kill you as long as you're on a camera uh, during the course of, of the night, right? So these are our plushie animatronics. I'm on camera two right now. So I think that's where the 40, excuse me, the 50-20 mode like hurdle is right now. And that's the problem that they're running up against is how do you still prevent all the plushies from attacking you, but also move away from these cameras? Because as soon as I move away from this camera, this guy's going to kill me, presumably, which let's test out. It doesn't look like they're going to kill me. We're at four, we're at five. So in our last, so at like 4.15 here, we'll switch over because the, the night ends at 4.30 uh, and we'll just see if he actually does kill me. Oh, hey baby. We'll get killed by baby. That'll be exciting. Uh, okay, so we got 15 seconds left. And again, these are just easy points that you can just accumulate without having to worry about any of this stuff. So here we go, we got five seconds, four, three, two, and we should get killed by her now. There it is. It's like magic. Um, so those are so those are some of the interesting mechanics. Um, and we'll hop back into doing a full-on uh like actual like night here in a second. Uh the last thing, or one of the other things I wanted to call out, is uh with Withered Chica, but I do want her to attack us. Uh, cause I'm hoping we get a specific voice line from her that I want to show to you guys. I'd be really curious, and, and Chris will be on, uh, Twitter and on the chat. I'd be curious to get your thoughts on this. Come on! Chica, you don't have to go the long way. You could just come the short way. It's fine. Hello, Chica. Well, hello, Chica. It's so nice to have you in the office today. Please come down the middle, Chica. Any day, Ch no, you went the long way. God, they never cooperate. What's a murderous animatronic, right? They never cooperate when you want them to. Um, okay, so she should be coming up soon. Uh oh, how oh, unfortunate. God. Get out of here. Uh oh, how unfortunate. You are, you are garbage. I'm gonna do a sneaky thing and throw a new contender in the ring. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Here, not just here. Who have you put in? No one in there, no one in there. Probably, oh! Ooh! Shadow Bonnie. Oh, that's a new one. We haven't gotten Shadow Bonnie yet. Oh, that's so cool. So intense. So Chica won't be able to kill us until I open up the, the, this. So presumably I should be dead. There she is. Hey, girl! And now I can't shut. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually seen this. This is hilarious. Look at her. Just, hey, yo, it's me, Chica. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Hey, hey, can, can, I join the, can I join the party? Me, Chica. This is just sad. Look at that. You can't shut that vent anymore, which is funny. I wonder if, like, Ennard could, like, sneak in and kill her. Or kill you. Just, like, squeeze. Everyone's just, like, piling through the vent. Um, Chica, any day now. I'd love for, I really was hoping you would jump scare me. I mean, you're more than welcome to let me survive the night, but that seems like an utter failure of your job. Like, you had one job! You had one job, Chica! <laughs> no? Yeah. What are you? Chicken? Ah! Hey, yo! Badoom ching! God, I hate myself. <laughs> that was garbage. Chica, she doesn't know what to do with herself at this point. She's just like, oh no, I made it all the way here. Now what do I do? 
What am I supposed to do? Stage fright. Right? Performance anxiety chica. <laughs> Forget withered chica, rock star chica, clickbait chica, no friends. It's performance anxiety chica. I always hate it when I'm going to murder someone and they just freeze up right in front of them. Right? She's gonna let me live! She's literally gonna let me live! Look at this! So apparently there are just some animatronics who try as you might to let them kill you just won't! Chica, come on, girl! This is your opportunity! Carpe that diem, seize the day! Nothing! Nothing! <laughs> Come on! It, it, you have 15 seconds, Chica. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't it. Shoot. So, <laughs> I wanted to show it off, and I was hoping it would be the first voice line. But apparently, withered Chica. One of her voice lines that's been discovered is, um... I was the first, I saw everything, which is weird. Um, it's a very specific thing for Withered Chica to say. Okay, I'm gonna no, shut these. I'm also gonna shut this. I'm just gonna use all my power right now. Okay, five coins. Get rid of all these guys in the background. Great. Woo! 6,000 points, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, as simple as that. Like, again, as you can see, even though we've been able to, like, negate a bunch of the different characters, there's still a lot. Show that score. Show that score. Uh, something to be proud of. <laughs> I don't proclaim to be the king of FNAF. I'm not in that Daco DJ Sturf, Markiplier battle. I'm just proud to get, to get the achievement, man. There it is. Get some cutscenes. <laughs> Going back to the old sprinkler time. Yeah, sprinkler time. Let's see a cutscene. Boom. Oh, our favorite toy cheek of the high school I'm years. So excited. This is the best. This is this is what I do it for, ladies and gentlemen. Dear diary. Yesterday was so amazing, and I met such a wonderful guy. So this is another interesting but one, real quick. I don't think it was meant to last. The numbers on the lockers. For my heart belongs to another. One seven. He's so amazing. Three nine. And strong and so or, so cute. Yeah, like three nine. -ish. I've been thinking about him all weird. day. A lot and of weird details in this game. I think he's really into me too. He's the only one for me. The best. I just know it. Toy Chica is pretty good looking. We can all agree, right? Toy Chica. To oh, for a chicken. For I mean, for an animatronic murderous chicken who lures Min back to her Look house and then kills those him. Those ears. So we got the <laughs> those amazing ears. Hmm. He'll Toy be Bonnie. mine by the end of the day. I just know it. I told him that my house was on fire, but once he's there, I I'll tell him that I threw myself on the flames to put them out. He'll be so impressed that he'll fall for me immediately. And once I have him, he'll be mine forever. Will he? There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. What's that? What could possibly go wrong? That's still the thing that I don't know, actually. And I'm wondering if they reveal it by the end of the cutscenes. Um, what the one thing that could possibly go wrong is, because I still don't have a solid understanding of what that could be referencing. You wouldn't have been able to know, like, wow, if I keep things lingering in the vent for an excessively long time. Woo! That was a good one. That was two good ones in a row. Yes! I gotta say, man, Scott's music game, when it comes to this and FNAF 6, have really improved a lot. Like, between this, this song, and the Midnight Motorist song from FNAF 6. Oh, yeah. Stupendous! Like, he's got some good music tracks. Like, this is just a really good celebratory song. Did we unlock a new cutscene? I don't know. I'm curious. Fingers crossed. Come on. Come on. Yes! 
Oh, yes. Awesome. Awesome. Anime. Anime! Another sun begins to set. I don't know what that accent was. My thirst for vengeance remains unquenched. You can hear the fox laughing from his temple. His reign of terror will soon be at an end. The air is ripe for revenge, and the blood of Fox's hands will finally be scrubbed off with a scouring pad of justice. But Fox is cunning, and devious, and has continued to somehow escape my grasp. I have tried to lay siege to his temple time and time again, but in no way. My attempt to overthrow the Fox last night failed. A bit, bit of a mistranslation. That failure came with a new and horrible world, one which I can hardly bear. But it's just for the week. At least there are no linens. I don't know, you're already seeming to watch his, like, his cod piece over there. <laughs> I snuck a dead fish into the pocket of his robe. He will be disoriented, and he won't expect an attack. Great. Ah, what a delicate He will attack. I have been anticipating this night. Trap is set. He should have learned his lesson. My robes have never smelled so clean. I must ask him what his secret is. Tide pods. Tide pods are the secret. He uses them as laundry. Too bad your white robes are all pink now! That's <laughs> why you gotta separate the colors from the whites, friends. This night marks the end of the Baron's plan. He will remember this night. The night he was shown whatever. Then again, if he wishes to suffer, maybe there is a better way. Yes, I know just a thing. That bear will regret the day that he crossed paths with me! The bear won't give up. He's the gift that keeps on giving. What a delightful idea. I think you just need a greater purpose in life, so come to me and let me give you one. He needs a greater purpose in life. Still a joke? Do you think? Do you think that this is gonna get serious at some point, right? It's because all of this, all of that cutscene still reads to me as like, haha, it's a joke. Nothing, again, still nothing in those cutscenes am I like, ah, oh, that's a crucial piece of lore that we haven't figured out yet. Okay, one. Power, switch, no, over, duct, ducks over here, ducks, ducks, ducks over here, great, nope, I see it. I assure you, I am very real. See, at least in this game, he's very real. Does that mean he was real in the original game? I don't know, Nat 4. Shoot, shoot. She's gone, she's moving, she's there. I don't know if she moved, I did it just in case because I couldn't see, and the last thing I wanted was to not see and then let her get by without me doing anything. So that's why I'm like, I'm going all in on this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Gone. Woo! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. 7,000 points! 7,000 points! Not too shabby. One more. This is the Numa Numa guy. Old school viral video. Oh, well, everyone knows. Isn't that like a staple? Don't you just is it? That? Is it a staple these days? I always figured. It was. Ice cream scoop. In middle school, we always did the ice cream scooper. <laughs> Stupendous! High score. New record. Sh cutscene? Maybe? Maybe cutscene? Cutscene? Maybe? Maybe cutscene? Cutscene? Maybe? Maybe cutscene? Yes! Oh, yeah, baby! We got it going! Toy Chica, who are you gonna kill this week? Felicity, Naf Edition. Dear Diary, Yesterday was so amazing, and I met such a wonderful guy. But I don't think it was meant to last. It's just the classroom noise For in the my heart belongs to another. Exotic butters He's it belongs so to. He's so amazing and strong and so, so cute. I've been thinking about him all day. And I think he's really into me too. Who's next to die? He's the only one for me. I just know it. And I know just how to get him. Eat pizza. 
Look at those eyes. Those amazing eyes. He'll be mine by the end of the day. I just know it. I told him that I've taken several live hostages at my house. But once he's there, I'll tell him that I let them go because I love him. Oh, that's nice. He'll fall for me immediately. I love you, so I let and the hostages go. And once I have him, he'll be mine forever. There is only one thing that could possibly go wrong. I can't imagine what that would be, Toy Chica. What could possibly go wrong? You killing them? Brutalizing their bodies and then stealing a portion of them for a souvenir? For your weird messed up souvenirs? Oh, they're spring trap. Boop his nose. Boop his oh. nose. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, I to record. See, see. So I'm not. What did you think of my act? It was great. It was the best act. Thank you for boop him, boop him. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm, I'm a hot mess right now. Three, I'm gonna turn up Peter. Oh, we're bad news. We're bad news bears at this point. Oh, we are worse news bears at this point. Oh, lordy. We are awful news bears at this point. <laughs> okay, hey. Hey, friends. Okay. Oh, don't die. Nope! Alright, great. Fantastic. Wow, I cannot believe we somehow survived that. On the negative side, we are currently really low on power, uh, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> but, but at least we're not dead yet, I guess. Uh, shoot. Nope. So I'm, 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 yeah, there it is. That'll teach you for trying to trick this old bird. Oh, you got me, Rockstar Chica. You old Southern Belle so and so. Hey, a DD repel! Thank goodness for that. Nope, nope. Ah, oh, shoot, shoot. That's some miracle. I was able to avoid that one. <laughs> I just like that the phone guy literally just left us and immediately has called back and is just talking to us again. Like, hey, I know I just finished talking to you guys, but there was something I forgot to mention last time. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it wasn't super important. Okay, there's that. There's heater. I'm using the heater. I'm blocking. Okay, I'm using the heater. Hopefully that pushed everyone back at this point. We'll see. Oh, oh. Phone guy! Hey, Long time no talk, great. buddy. Uh, so good to hear from you long. yet again. Okay, heater again. Uh, anyway, knock him out. Come on. Things have gotten uh, real uh, for a long time now, buddy. Hate to break it to you, things have been real for a while. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Got it! Oh! I didn't. I thought for sure Mangle had us. Oh! Yes! Oh, I never thought. I never thought I would get this high of a score. I didn't think that I would get there. Oh, man. Oh, and that also puts us only like 600 points away or something like that from getting the final FNAF 4 office. <sighs> Making fast progress. Once you know the tactics, once you know the secrets, it helps so much. There are still things that people got to iron out the wrinkles to, but I will take that. I will take that! Yes! Cutscene, maybe. Maybe cutscene. Show me cutscene. Intermission, come on. Yes. Got it. Whew. Another sun begins to set my face. My thirst for vengeance remains unquenched. I can hear the fox laughing from his temple. But his reign of terror will soon be at an end. Here is ripe for revenge and the blood of the fox's hands will find him scrubbed off of the scouring battle chains. I've seen this, you've heard this, but the fox is coming into the essence and has continued to somehow escape my grasp. I have tried to lay siege to his temple time and time again, but to no avail. My siege last night failed, and the cost of that failure is high. And you have to eat it again. What is it? The fox is devious. His punishment is unorthodox. I must decorate my tree once a year with strange shapes and colors. Christmas? <laughs> what? And wear a red robe. Something about delivering gifts to children. Something Santa Claus? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? 
This gives me an idea. I will sneak down his chimney. He will never suspect it. What? So, so Freddy is Santa Claus. Confirmed. Get logs for the fireplace. He will attack. How predictable. I have been anticipating this night. The trap is set. You should have learned your lesson. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? What can I tell you? I must remind the fox cubs to leave cookies and milk out for our dear friend. This is so strange. I have a feeling you're getting coal in your stocking. It's my share voice. This night marks the end of the Baroness clan. He'll remember this night the night he was shown mercy. Then again, if he wishes to suffer, maybe there's a better way. Yes, I know just the thing. That bear will regret, it, regret the day that he crossed paths. And again, I won't be this. I'm going on vacation. Feed the dog. Wait, you are the, you are the dog. Feed yourself. Uh... Is that our lore bit? Is that confirmation that Mangle is the dog? So for Foxy to call out, you're the dog, that feels pretty confirmed. Like that to me is like confirmation, right? Like show hands, right? Maybe? It's a, it's a pretty, Jason agrees. Chris, what do you think? Oh yeah, hand in the air. Right? I think so. I like, I think that might be it. Hands in the air, like you just don't care. Except you do, cause it's FNAF lore. Uh, no, that feels like a very strong piece of evidence to support the past FNAF theory where I'm like, oh, Mangle is the dog. That's why the dog is dead. He also uses the dead dog to lure the girl, you know, and eventually stuff her body into something. That feels significant. That feels important. So we may have finally gotten what our lore confirmation is from the anime scenes, which is great. Ha! Ah, what a great way to end the stream! 7,000! 400 points in in a relatively short amount of time, which is great. We got 2,400 extra points. We got like four extra cutscenes, three or four extra cutscenes.